I don't watch the news for several reasons. One being, they make money off negativity. And for two, there's no clear distinction on the world versus your world. The world can be a racist place. Your world, everybody is connected on a deeper spiritual level. The world, there can be an economic downfall. The US dollar is about to collapse. Your world, there's nothing but joyful life experience and abundance flow and prosperity for yourself and all of your loved ones. And the world, there can be the people versus the government, the people versus the police. In your world, there's nothing but peace, joy, and everybody realized that we're here to live a joyful life experience and find our true self. Guys, this is true. What I'm telling you, you know, it could sound like a fairy tale if you thought of it like that, but no, that's the reality of life. Whatever you imagine your world to be is what it will be. Just because you're hearing on the news or just because somebody is telling you the truth doesn't mean that it's actually true. In the world, there can be some type of... Uh, you know, pandemic going on in the world and your world that doesn't exist. Guys, this is again, true. If you just pay attention to the facts of, you know, what you pay attention to and how that grows. If you just really consciously were absorbed in what you paid attention to and how it developed between your feelings and then how those feelings made, you know, things occur in your reality. Guys, you might hear something and somebody might tell you something and they might say, you know, why don't you believe me? It's true. And it's only true to them. And here's an example. Say if you just went to a city, right? Say you just went to a beautiful city. Maybe you're somebody who wants to live by the water. You live in Midwest or something like that. You want to live by the water. So let's say you go out, you get by the water. Let's say you're in San Diego. It's beautiful out there in San Diego, right? So you're out there in San Diego, weather perfect. Everything is great, right? You have a friend come pick you up from the airport. You looking at everything. You see everything is beautiful. But this friend, they say, man, I can't stand this pothole. I, I run past this pothole every day. They need to fix this pothole. This is disgusting. Why isn't the city fixing this pothole? Why isn't the government fixing this pothole, right? You looking around the city, you enjoying the nice views, the nice buildings. You see water, you see palm trees. But your friend is talking about this one pothole and he's talking about it the whole time. Y'all out to eat. He's talking about last week he ran through the pothole. He told his, his girlfriend that she had to look up some stuff to, you know, submit something to the pot. The bottom line is, don't be around people that want you to focus on the potholes in life. There's so many potholes in life to focus on if you would like. I mean, this day and era, all you have to do is turn on an Instagram, Twitter, or you know, social media, or the TV uh, and commercials to find the potholes in life. To actually stay focused on the beautiful, the beauty that life provides us on a day-to-day -day basis takes purposeful creation, deliberate creation, deliberate focus. It's easy to focus on a pothole if you're a pothole mentality. But if you have a mentality of abundance, if you realize that there's a clear distinction between the world and your world, yeah, this pothole is here, right? I'm not going to say the pothole is not there. Pothole is here. But at the same time, there's so much more beautiful things about this freaking city other than this pothole. There's so many beautiful things about this life experience that we live other than the potholes that people try to get you to buy into, the potholes that the news tries to get you to buy into, especially, and the potholes that the social media try to get you to buy into. And guys, you know, you can only imagine what I'm talking about. And whatever's popping into your head, that's probably a pothole that you need to get rid of. So guys, whatever you focus on ultimately is what is true, right? So don't let nobody tell you this is true. You ever heard about that? It's true. Because you tell them, no, I'm focused on the, the beauty, the ocean, the, the palm trees. You got to figure out where your attraction level is going. If you're focused on a pothole, then your attraction level is going towards the pothole. So therefore, you're going to see more potholes, right? And it may not be in the form of potholes. It could be in the forms of graffiti. It could be in the forms of negative events, negative people coming into your life experience because you're focused on the potholes in life versus focused on the palm trees, focused on the water, the beauty in life which is going to breed more positive events, positive circumstances into your life. And not to mention, you're going to feel better. If you don't do it for anything else, do it for the feeling. That's what I really want to, like, how do you feel when you look on the news and they're talking about the U.S. dollar is going to fuck freaking implode? How do you, you know, feel about that? That don't make me feel good if I'm looking at the news and they're talking about the U.S. dollar. Like, I got dollars in the safe. Why do I want to have, you know, my, my dollars mean nothing. You feel me? So that's something that you really want to absorb, right? Something I had to even get out of myself. I watching a lot of things about there's a fine line between watching things about the economy and, you know, watch just in, 
and absorbing yourself with negativity. There's a fine line between preparing for something and then absorbing negativity. You have to just find that balance in life and be consciously aware of what you're doing. Don't get so worked up. How do you feel? And this is might just be something. I mean, I don't know how you're going to feel about it. But at the same time, think about this. How do you feel when you look on TV and you see, you know, uh, a cops supposedly gunning down another unarmed black man? How does that make you feel? And how does it make you feel uh, or a black man, you know, tell, talking to you about this? What I'm telling you is don't focus on it. And when I say don't focus on it, it's not to say that it doesn't happen. No. But what I'm saying is it doesn't make you feel good. So why are you focusing on it? Focus on stuff that makes you feel good. And for somebody who says that don't make sense because that's not the reality of life. The reality of life is that people die and blah, 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 by the police. And blah, 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 blah. That's only reality because, again, they're focusing on it. So if you focus on what you want from your world, then that's what you'll get. You'll get what you want from your world. And you have to trust that. I trust it. And I trust it not only because, you know, I read about it, I've heard about it, and I've seen success stories from it, from this type of thought process, but I trust it because of the feeling. I just told you. It doesn't make you feel good watching how the U.S. dollar is going to plummet. It doesn't make you feel good talking about how the cops is killing unarmed people. It doesn't make you feel good talking about how the government is so unfair and all of these things. So don't focus on it because just because you think that you're focusing it on it and you're making a change and all these type of things, what are you really changing? And at the expense of what? Is at the expense of your own mental health, your own mental well-being to change something that may or may not really be as prevalent as the media makes it be. You have to really realize this, guys. This world is 100 percent mental. You got to control your mental. If you don't do it for nothing, do it for the feeling of yourself. Don't focus on things that's going to make you feel negative. Focus on things that make you feel positive so you can create the world, the life experience that you ultimately want. As long as your heart is in every step throughout this process of life, then you are already a success. As always, get the step in. But guys, focus on your world. Realize there's a clear distinction between the world, your world. As soon as you see something on TV, and let's say you see something on TV and you see somebody, I don't know, let's just say you saw something horrible, right? Some Somebody, okay, I'm just going to say something horrible, right? Say you saw something horrible and you're like, man, that can't be me. Let's say this. Let's say you, you look on the news and they say there's a killer on the loose, right? There's a killer on the loose. They running through the neighborhoods, lock your doors, you know, uh, shut your blinds, you know, do everything. Don't go outside. But you got a, a date tonight, right? You got a date with your girl. Y'all supposed to be going out, chilling, having a great time. Are you going to stay in the house because the killer is on the loose? If you are, that's foolish. Because why does that killer have to do with you? The killer has nothing to do with you. Whatever is happening in this world, guys, we're attracting it. So if you aren't doing stuff that's, you know, if you aren't thinking about, you know, attracting these kind of events, then you shouldn't fear these kind of things happening in your life. And if you are fearing them in your life, then unfortunately you're attracting it into your life by giving it energy. Stop giving any energy to the things that you don't want. Rather it be just looking at something. Don't even look the way of something you don't want. If you don't want it, why are you looking at it? Because when you look at it, you're exchanging energy. There's an energy transfer transfer between things that you look at there's an energy transfer right now between you watching this deuces